Karambatia here at Madison Square Garden with Logan Paul. Logan, we just saw your brother and Haseem Rahman Jr. got a little chippy in there. Yeah. And I feel like in terms of the opponents Jake's had, I mean, Askren was a good talker who I know you had on your pod, yeah. but Rockman, he, he brought it, right? What did you think? No, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the guy. I, I don't know him. I've never seen him fights. Him fight. I've never seen him talk, but he got me excited. You know, like at the end of the day, boxing is probably only half of, of what this sport is. It's entertainment. So you, if, you, if you're not going to come up and sell the fight, fuck off. But the guy's good. I'm, I'm excited. Speaking of entertainment, I know something you said is that you used to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to be the be biggest entertainer in the world. And, and you ended up fighting one of the greatest fighters of our generation. So you would, you achieve that. I'm just wondering like, if you had any advice to people on their own journey on how to, how to achieve that, that positive mindset. Yeah. It's hard because I, 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 I like... It's a severe manifestation for me. Like there was no other option. You you have to believe what you say, whether it's coming out of your mouth, whether you're writing it down, whether it's thoughts in your head, conversations with your friends, whatever it is, like I just believed that it was gonna happen. And when it did, you know, it it kind of blew my mind. I mean like fucking so cliche, but really anything's possible. People just don't believe that because they're not, there's no plan B. They're not, they're not, they're not believe, believing what they say. They don't have the conviction in themselves. I did. For the rest of your life, you have that clip backing him up in the first round, put, making him uncomfortable. Has he paid you yet? <laughs> uh, uh, not all of it, no. We're working on it, yeah. I wanted to ask you about when, when you fight someone, a lot of people say you, you gain respect for them. And I know KSI, you fought him twice. Now you guys are business partners with Prime. Is that, did that happen for you guys? Did you gain respect after fighting? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, nah, nah. I've always had respect for him, you know, like everything he's built it just was a uh you put the respect aside for a second it it, it it was more of like a it was it was more of a a relationship building like a trust in each other that we i think we gained after the fact you know we've always had respect for each other but the relationship wasn't always there and now that it is you know sky's the limit you've achieved great things in boxing and of course outside of boxing you're watching your brother now headline at Madison Square Garden. I mean, what your perspective of your younger brother, you see his name up there. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? It's insane, like actually fucking insane. We walk through the garden, right? There's nothing on the floor and I'm looking up and I'm seeing the Paul Hasim uh, banners and like, we talked about this when we were kids. We wanted to sell out MSG. One of us was gonna do it and I might still do it as well, but he beat me to it. My little brother beat me to it and I couldn't be more proud, man. Like he's surpassing every expectation I've ever had for him and the world's ever had for him and like I've, I'm done betting against Jake Paul that's why I say like you go against the kid you're gonna lose last question before I let you go I have to ask about the Polaroid project sure. I'm sure yeah. you're passionate about sure. this well what's that's the latest and, yeah, and no it's 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 doing so well so every day we do an auction and uh, we have about nine hundred thousand dollars in the community treasury so I'm forming this group it's the future of community uh, the originals Dow uh, we're gonna do creative fun strategic things with the money have events uh, sponsor philanthropies um, uh, fund independent movies like I have big goals for this project and it's a, it's a it's a it's a community and it's tech disguised as art and uh, I think time will tell just how pivotal this project is in shaping the way a, a functioning DAO is supposed to work and how NFTs should be utilized on the blockchain, especially in the bear market. Like this is the worst market ever, dude. And we are like, like, like barreling through it. I couldn't be happier with my community. I couldn't be happier with the way the project's being received. And this is the first step of many, you know, the first, it's, it's 99 originals, but it's going to become originals. And I'm 27 years old. I love art. I'll be taking photos and making stuff for the rest of my life. Well, congratulations on that. Best of luck to your team on August 6th. And Logan Paul, thank you so much for the time. Appreciate you. Thank you.